Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we are doing our second of five solo cast episodes over this week. And today, we are going to talk about relaunching your book. So as I mentioned yesterday, when I talked about what would I do differently, what we have done is I've actually reached out to our audience via email or through our Get Published Facebook group. And I asked them to send me questions that I could ask. And what I did was choose five questions that I would answer during these next several days on the podcast. So today, the question that I'm going to answer is relaunching your book. This is a strategy that not enough authors are utilizing. I am a big fan of this. My publishing company will do this for clients. I've done it for my own books, and I'm a big fan of it. Because if you do it right, you can essentially have a brand new book launch for a book that's been out there. One of the first questions I get is, how long should I wait? Well, you could relaunch a book within three to six months. My recommendation in the ideal world, in a perfect situation, would be to launch, to do a relaunch of your book a year later. And I'll give you an example. One of my books was called Book Publishing for Beginners. It was the first book that I wrote about publishing, about helping people with sharing their story And what happened was we launched the book and then a year later, sales started to slow down a bit. It was getting a little stale and I wanted to turn it into a second edition. All I did was add about 15% new content, updated information to make sure that our audience, our readership was able to get the most current information to help them. And then what we also did was create a new book cover. And I absolutely love this cover. To this day, it's one of my favorites. If you guys want to grab a free copy, just go to Amazon.com and literally type in book publishing for beginners. My book will come up. You will see it's got a lovely red background. It's got some gold in it. It's just, it's it's an awesome cover. And what we did was we turned that into the second edition. Now, how that works is this. You at, you're actually going to upload the book. If you do this yourself, you're going to upload the book to Amazon just like you would a brand new book. You do that for Kindle, and then you do that for the paperback version. What you're going to do is roughly a day afterwards, once you get a notification that it's live, then you are going to reach out to Amazon. You let them know through KDP that your book is is now being uploaded and that is a second edition of your current book and what you're going to ask amazon to do is to please transfer the information over to the new book so you're going to they're going to transfer the categories they're going to transfer the um, book reviews all the information and then they will ask you to unpublish the old version go for it go ahead and do that and essentially you have a brand new book so you could actually do a full launch if you wanted to. Our strategy is we want the book to be free for five days and then for roughly two to three days after that, we want it to be priced at 99 cents. If your book didn't hit bestseller the first time, that is one of the best strategies. With us, we love to use different book promo companies because those emails that they send to their readership goes directly to their email. We don't have to worry about social media, if they're going to be on Facebook, or if they're going to be on Twitter, if they're going to see it, those promotional emails are sent directly to the email address of the readership. So I am a big fan of that because there's nothing more powerful than utilizing other people's audiences, and in this case, book promo companies. And I'm going to give you a couple of them right now. So if you want to do the free side of the promo, which I highly recommend, because the way the Amazon algorithm works, it is a, it's is still a combination. Five years later, yes, the algorithm has changed. But at the end of the day, it is all about a combination of free downloads and 99 cent downloads. It is not rocket science. It's just simple math. So I'm going to tell you right now, for the free side of things, 
free booksy. Book yourself a promo on there. I mean, I can't give away our entire sequence, but I will tell you, in regards to the free side, you want to utilize free booksy. I'm a big fan of buck books. So if you are going to utilize the 99 cent portion of the launch, and I'm referring to the Kindle version of your book for this, you always want to keep your paperback at the same price. The Kindle's what we're focusing on, but realize that all that traffic that's going to the Kindle version of your book, it's also seeing the paperback version there too, because they're both going to be listed. And if you, if you have an audiobook version, that is going to be listed as well. So for the free side of the launch, utilize free booksy. And then for the 99 cent portion of the launch, utilize buck books. I love those guys. They always do a great job. I've always been a fan of theirs. So those are two sites that can help you with this journey. But you really need two things. You need to update the content in your book. You don't have to redo anything. Just go in there, add some new content, 15% roughly. You can redo your intro, chapter one, and your conclusion, and you're good to go. But definitely get a new cover. No matter how much you love your first cover, I know it's almost like giving birth. Even though I'm a guy, I, you know, obviously I gave you too much examples of that. But it is, I know for a lot of people, it's like creating life because they're truly ingrained into their book. They love it. And I get it. I have 15 of my own books. But if you're going to do a second edition, you need to do another book cover. That is for Kindle, that is for paperback. Basically, what you're doing is you're giving yourself an upgrade. It's just like when you're working on home improvement projects, you're fixing up your house. As an example, Earlier today, I was actually putting up LED string lights um, in my backyard by the pool. I was upgrading the backyard. It's the same thing with this. You are upgrading your book. And how do you do that? By creating some new content and also by getting a new book cover designed. I absolutely love our second edition books because it just gives it that little extra polish. We can plug it in our system. And then if you haven't hit bestseller already, we can do that for the authority piece. And the main thing we're doing with that is leveraging it for opportunities. What are those opportunities? Podcast tours, utilizing it for press releases, utilizing it for your branding, for your website. There's so many pieces. It's not just about hitting bestseller. It's about hitting that whole bestseller thing, but then leveraging it. So that is the advice that I give in regards to relaunching your book. 10 to 15% new content, new book cover, do the upload just like you would with the, with your first book and definitely go out there, launch it, put some money behind it, utilize book promo companies. And here's the thing, go on Google, just look up Kindle book promo companies and I will guarantee you, you're gonna find a list there. Do your research. You could totally launch this yourself if you wanna go in that position. But for those of you that want that proven system, that wanna utilize a company that does it, our publishing company does second edition book launches. The main thing that we're focusing on is the results, just so we can help you with that journey. Um, just as a reminder too, we are gonna be doing a live training this Thursday. That's gonna be a little different though. It's not about relaunching your book. It is about how you can create your own virtual summit to essentially take your business to warp speed. Gonna be talking with Ray Brem, who I partner with with our virtual summit company. And we're gonna walk through that entire journey with that. And one of the things that we talk about is running a second edition of your summit. I'm sure that sounds familiar, right? Second edition of a book, second edition of a summit. And we're gonna talk about how I was able to increase my sales by over five times just by adding a little bit of polish and improving that proverbial book cover. Tomorrow, we are gonna talk about overcoming writer's block and imposter syndrome. I know this is something that as an author, we have all struggled with and looking forward to talking about that on our next episode. And as always, I wish you guys all the best in your author journey ahead. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.